There are many paths to follow this Halloween, but one trail is particular is more charitable than it appears. We'll take you down to the haunted Tomb Town Trail next and explain how its proceeds help our community right here in Southern Arizona. You're watching K Guy 9 News after the game. Well, just in time for Halloween, a couple in Oro Valley is hosting their 23rd Tomb Town Tucson Haunted Trail tonight. K Guy 9's Mackenzie Hamill actually toured the trail ahead of its opening. She is in Oro Valley, ready to tell us how they use this trail to give back to the community. Happy Hallows Eve! Tonight marks the first of two nights here at Tomb Town. I'm near La Cañada and McGee checking out what spooky stuff they have in store for those brave enough to walk the Haunted Trail. You can never expect the same trail. We change it every year. Husband and wife Keith and Jenny Stewart are the proud haunters of Tombtown Tucson and the Terror Trail. It's a highly anticipated community event that's celebrating 23 years of scaring. People can hear screams from several blocks away sometimes. Yes. <laughs> But they put up with us. The setup started in August because the collection's only gotten bigger every year. A lot of it, hand-built structures. Boo! Gotcha. We're on the scary side of the trail right now. So there's going to be actors planted all around, ready to give you a little jump when you're walking through. But if you're bringing your kids, or if you're a little bit more faint-hearted yourself, there is a less scary side. So a little bit of everything for everyone. Yeah, one of our regular volunteers, he's he's had been coming since he was 13, and he's yeah. 24 now. Yeah. So yeah, we have a couple, like actually two like that. The trail entry fee is $1 per person, and all of the proceeds go to the Southern Arizona Food Bank. Last year, they made almost $6,000, and they're going to maintain the tradition as long as they can. We'll keep going. Definitely. <laughs> If, if we don't, people will be showing up going, where is it? You know? The stewards tell me that there does tend to be longer lines, but it is well worth the wait. All you have to do is bring your $1 donations for every time you want to go through the haunted trail. Reporting from Oro Valley, Mackenzie Hamill, KGUN 9.